Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I've got some very, very exciting news to share with you. Now, it's been around three to four months since we had a working Windows executor. And by working Windows executor, I mean an executor that works on the browser version of Roblox. And today, I'm going to be bringing you exactly that. So let's jump right into it. So the executor that I'm talking about is the Vave executor. Now, they did come out a few months ago, but they did have a few bugs. And because of that, they did shut down. However, they have come back a lot stronger now. Now, of course, I'll go ahead and showcase this executor and explain all of the features of the executor itself. So let's jump right into it. So first things first, if you are interested in buying the executor, you can buy it from my website. It is listed for one of the cheapest. And of course, we do have the seven day and the 30 day keys in stock. So to purchase it, head down to the first link in the description and you'll be taken to this website right here. And of course, we do offer a variety of different payment methods that you can choose from. So make sure to head down into the description and grab yourself a key. Now, once you do have your key, head down to the second link in the description, which will take you to this website right here. And of course, from here, you will be able to download the actual executor. Now, once you have installed Wave and you have registered the account on the application, and of course, you do have your purchased key, you can head down over to this section right here and you'll be able to redeem your key over here. And it will show you a duration that is left of your key. Now, at this point, you're pretty much ready to go. So let me go ahead and explain all of the features of the executor before we jump into an actual game. So first things first, of course, this is your common tab. So this is where you'll be able to paste your script in and execute it by clicking this button right here. You can also go ahead and import any new scripts in by clicking this button right here. And of course, you do have Vave UI. Now, of course, this is a completely unique feature that Vave have added. This has not been seen before on any other executor, which is really cool. So of course, you can go ahead and mess around with the AI as well. Ask it any questions that you might have in terms of executing. And yeah, it's definitely a cool feature to mess around with. Now, in the second tab, you have your scripts. So you can, of course, search for any scripts in here. So, for example, if you need a script for Blocks Fruits, you can simply go ahead and search that in here and you'll be able to get a bunch of different scripts. And just for this game alone, there are over 37 pages worth of scripts, as you can see right here. So there's, of course, going to be a bunch of scripts for you to mess around with for pretty much every single game on Roblox. Now, moving down over here, these are the settings for the executor. Now, if you want to save your tabs, so, for example, if I've got scripts in here that I want to save, for next time I open the executor, you'll be able to tick this and it will go ahead and save the scripts in the tabs that you have them opened. And of course, you also have topmost. Now, I do recommend having this on. This will pretty much keep the executor on top no matter what you do. So for example, if I have file that I'm trying to move around, it will still stay on top. So this feature is kind of useful when you kind of go back and forth from the executor to Roblox. You can pretty much always have the executor on top so you don't have to go back to your taskbar to bring it back up again. Now, of course, you also have the ability to change your refresh rate. So you can set it up to 240 hertz, which is really good. And of course, there are a few other things that you can also mess around with in the settings. Now, moving down to this tab right here, this is what everyone has been waiting for. This is the multi instance. So you will be able to use different accounts on the same computer and be able to inject the executor in each of those accounts, which is really cool and definitely a great feature that everyone had been waiting on. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the features of the executor. Now, let's go ahead and jump into a game so I can show you the executor in action. All right, and here we go. We're loading into a game right now. And of course, the executor does inject automatically. So you don't have to worry about clicking inject each time you load into Roblox. It will automatically inject for you. And once you have fully loaded into the game, of course, go ahead and paste your script in the tab and click execute. And that will execute your script for you, as you can see, just like that. Now, let's go ahead and move this away. And let's go ahead and try using the infinite yield. And as you can see, it works flawlessly without any issues whatsoever. And of course, you can execute scripts on any game of your choice. This is just an example. So that's pretty much it for the executor guys if you are interested in purchasing it of course you will be able to do that from the first link in the description and with that being said if you do require any help in terms of setting up the executor feel free to join my discord server linked down in the description i've got a bunch of friendly helpers and myself that will be able to help you out with any issues that might arise and of course with that being said that is the end of the video hopefully you have enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching